So let's talk a little bit about safety glasses. They are quite uh, inexpensive, you can find them anywhere, they are readily available, and they are supposed to protect your eyes. But are they really doing that? So yesterday, my old pair of safety glasses fell off my workbench and they broke in half here in the center. So as I throw them away today in the, in the dustbin, I had to go to the shops and get myself a new pair of safety glasses. So I bought two pairs, I bought this amber pair and I bought a clear pair. Same brand as my old safety glasses. And I thought this is maybe the ideal opportunity to test my old safety glasses and see how strong they really are. So although they broke here in half, the lenses are still, are still good, they're a little bit scratched, but uh, I think it's, it should still do the job. So uh, the method of testing, I thought it would be a good idea. My son has got a BB gun and he's got a pallet gun. I also got a pallet gun. So let's shoot some BBs and pallets at the safety glasses and measure the speed and see how strong they really are. The money that you pay for the safety glasses, is it worth the money? Should you invest a little bit more money in safety glasses? I don't know. So the pair that I will be testing today is not really expensive. It's in the region of about uh, 40 to 60 rand. The pair depends on where you buy them. And I've put my trust in them for many years. I've never bought a pair of safety glasses that's expensive. And I always tend to go for the cheaper ones. And uh, that's more affordable. So, so let's get on with the test. First of all, we will start. Uh, I will introduce the, the, the weapons of choice to you guys. And uh, we will measure the speed also of the projectiles that will be hitting the safety glasses. So that we have a little bit of data. So let's get on with the test. So before we start with the test today. I bring in a new cameraman today to assist me with uh, with the filming of this test. It will make things a little bit easier. So let me introduce you to my cameraman quickly. Yeah? Hey guys, I am seven years old and I'm almost as good as my dad at shooting. This is how the camera looks like. So the first weapon of choice that we will be using is this BB gun. It shoots uh, small tiny BBs. The second we will be moving to is a, is a pallet gun, also known as an air rifle. And uh, here's my air rifle, a little bit bigger than the other one. So let's measure the speed of these three rifles and see how fast they can shoot. So let's check the speed of the first BB gun. Nice ricochet. That's uh, 265 feet per second. So 265 feet per second for the BB gun. The second gun we'll be testing is the small air rifle. That's uh, 406 feet per second. So the big air rifle gives us... So the big air rifle, it's uh, 500 feet per second. The first shot was 520 feet per second. So it's not a lot faster than the other one, but still a little bit faster. Good. So I've mounted the glasses on a piece of wood like this. And I fixed them with a piece of uh, tape here in the middle, just to keep them together. So they broke here in the center. And uh, they are quite sturdy on, uh, on this piece of wood here. So let's uh, start shooting them. But the uh, first thing that I want to test is, before I shoot uh, the bullets, let's put a few matchsticks in the, in the rifles and see if there's any damage from the matchsticks in the rifles. Um, I think that could be a, maybe a good representation of, uh, of a splint or something that comes of a, um, a power tool, a table saw or a miter saw that can fly into your eye. So let's uh, shoot a few matchsticks at it and uh, see what it does. Let's quickly check the speed of the matchsticks when you shoot the matchstick from the air rifle. I'm not sure how fast it will be. Let's throw one down the barrel. This one was a bit slower. It's about 350 feet per second. So everybody's got their safety glasses on. I'm going to do it a little bit closer. So let's aim it at the lens. No damage at all. Let's try to put more than one match in. Let's put uh, 
One, two, three. Six matches. Let's see what it does. No damage at all. So let's aim it at the lens. No damage at all. Let's try to put more than one match in. Six matches. Let's see what it does. So this was about 270 feet per second. Safety glass is on. Yep. Let's also do it up close. Really, really small dent. Another small dent. I will show you guys the damage afterwards. I can't believe this. So let's move to the blue air rifle. This was about, uh, if I remember correctly, 450 yeah. feet per second. I think this one will definitely leave a mark. Safety glasses on. Yep. The tape came apart. He only a small dent. Jeez, only a small dent. Jeez, oh, Jesus. I'm shooting at the top one. So let's shoot the top one again. Definitely a little bit of a bigger dent than the, than the BB gun. So the BB gun is shooting small steel BBs. And this pallet it's a really small lead pallet that it's shooting. What's this now? Three shots or four shots? There was three shots. Was three. So now let's move to the bigger air rifle. This was uh, in the region of 500 feet per second. Let's also take uh, three pallets. What do you think is going to happen? I think it's just going to make a small, a big dent. Just a big dent. So let's see, safety glasses on. Yep. <laughs> yes, this glasses is really strong. There's just a few minor dents in the safety glasses. I think your eyes will be safe when you do when you're busy in the workshop. This is really impressive. There's only a few minor dents. And, and I shot it here at the bottom, so there's a small crack that's starting. Let's shoot the bottom one at, uh, at point blank. Yeah. Safety glass is on. Yep. So let's shoot it at point blank. At a bit of an angle. Nothing. This is really un unbelievable. Let's do another one. All right. Let's see if that will make a big crack. Then I think uh, these glasses are tested. 
properly. So now this one it cracked a little bit further. But still it did not go through. You can feel it a little bit bulging at the back side. But the pallet definitely did not went through. So what have we learned from this exercise? I would say I was really impressed with the performance of, uh, of, of these safety glasses. I really did expect uh, that at least the pallet gun at 500 feet per second would, would break one of the lenses. And uh, ultimately it did not. There's very little damage to, to the lenses except for the one that cracked. But uh, it was already broken, like I said, it fell from my workbench and it broke. But on the lens itself, really small dents. Uh, I, I tried to take a few pictures of it and uh, I will post it um, after this video to give you guys a little bit of a close-up on, uh, on, on the damage on the lens itself. But really small dents in the, in the lens itself. And I was really impressed with the performance uh, of the safety glasses. So yeah, I would say I feel at ease uh, with using these uh, these types of safety glasses. Um, it opened a whole new view for me on, on, on the technology that goes into safety glasses like this and the materials that they are manufactured of. So yeah, um, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. If there's any projects in the future that you would like to see, any tests that you would like to see, please uh, put it in the comments down below. And if you like the video, please click the thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel. It will help me a lot to grow the channel. And I'll see you on the next one. Thank you for your time and bye-bye. Uh, so here's a close-up of the damage. If you look carefully, you can see there's some minor dents in the glasses. It's not really visible. This is the, the lens that cracked. You can also see there's uh, some small dents into the glass. But although this cracked, nothing went through the lens itself. So they really held up strongly against those, uh, those pallets and BBs. So how do we summarize this? I think these glasses are adequate. I think they are really strong. And I was really impressed on how they held up against the BBs and the pallets. The chances are that you will generate debris flying in your shop with a table saw or mighty saw that exceeds um, 500 feet per second is really slim. I haven't done the calculations to see uh, at what speed a table saw blade can, can launch a, a piece of debris or a piece of wood. But at least it will be a piece of wood that's flying, not a lead or a steel pallet. So yeah, I'm really happy with the, with the outcome of this test. And uh, I feel a lot better wearing these glasses in my workshop in the future. So thank you guys for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.